That's where change is all about. Hell, is this 1920? <coughs> it's a little laggy, so let's uh, slide some of these sliders down. Maybe there's someone who can help me. Dan Lurkin. I looked away and looked back and they were gone. I think I'm passing out slowly. Last thing I'm, I, how did I get here? Last thing I remember is an accident in this house. Pass on the backyard. How did I get here? here a light source or something well, this game is so laggy I don't know why it's not to be optimized very well I guess this ant game is not very well optimized. 
Oof. Let's go further. Library. Sun. Yeah, I don't really see much of a difference in everything, so I'm going to... Let's see what minimum looks like. Nope. It's just laggy. We're not lowering resolution. That would be the worst thing to do. Leave it up. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, turn off window mode, we're getting a little screen tearing. Game's just indie and very unoptimized, so it's gonna run at like it's so dark in here. Jittery, thirty frames instead of sixty. October thirty first, nineteen hundred. I'm left completely alone. All the maids resigned out of fear for their lives. I can't blame them. I would run away, too, if I could. But what's done is done. I cannot hide. I cannot sleep. I hear them laughing and talking all the time. This demonic giggling is driving me crazy. I know there's only one way to get rid of all this. This is my last entry. Goodbye. Uh -oh. Jesus Christ. What happened here? Someone killed themselves? I have scissors now. And a locket with photo inside. There's me and some woman whose face I cannot recognize. Uh, so far it seems like an atmospheric game more than jump scares, but you never know with these kinds of games. Okay, we're gonna have to hide from things. Oh, they always do that shit, don't they? It's so dark in here. Well, you know, don't be a scaredy cat. Just go in there. The key in the library. I think it can cut the rope. What, what rope? It can cut the rope. Is there a rope? What rope are we cutting? Oh. Pull out and remove the lamp. What a really weird looking closet.
That's a big drop. Where the hell are we? Is anybody here? The house seems abandoned, but the lights are on. Maybe someone is here. He appeared and then it didn't appear. I can't. It won't, I can't, it won't open. They won't do anything. Hello? Somebody here? What was that? Ah! What was that? Pretty sure I saw ghosts here. Need to get out of here. The way is out. The way out is on the first floor. I guess he just wanted his ball. Old wiring. That's scary. My maids heard me screaming and called Dr. Morgan after the incident. Without my knowledge. Maybe they did have the right, but I'm sure that I heard that terrifying voice. Tried to explain it to the doctor, but he was convinced that it was a side effect of my medication. He said it may have caused hallucinations because I misused it. So I was prescribed a new medication. And Dr. Morgan asked our new nanny to make sure that I take it correctly. Maybe it was a hallucination after all. It seems the person who wrote this diary was troubled with hallucinations. I don't like how that's crackling and popping and sparking over there. That's a fire hazard in this old place. That's a that's a door. How about no? I'm good. Click on that, that, that boat there. I knew that was going to happen. Important. Do not, don't forget to lock the back stairs door and leave the key in the utility room. P.S. Children are not allowed to play in the kitchen. It's really not that hard. Take this chair, throw it against the glass, jump outside, and leave. 
What is so hard about that? Just get the hell out of this place as soon as, like, as, the first time you even hear something that's kind of like a ghost, get the hell out. GTHO. Come in. Uh, I'm good. Grab that note first. What was the point of pushing that? Oh, let's get in there. Let's get in that room right there. Move the mouse. This is gonna be a jump scare. Oh god. Oh god. This is gonna be a jump scare. Oh god, I can't even look. They make you focus on the, the game and then they do a jump scare. Oh my god. Oh god. That's how this shit works. That was the like, oh, it's safe. Nothing will ever happen when you do this little mini game ever. And then 10 minutes later, you do it again. And then something comes at, up at you. I, I've played so many horror games. I know how they all do the same shit every time. Well, the problem is uh, so many developers are just simply bad at making horror games. They don't, they, they all use the tactics that other games have used, so every, every horror game starts feeling the same. I, I find that most horror games they usually have like one section that's unique and cool and something that only they did and was done really well. And then the rest of the game is a bunch of tropes and stuff. Darkwood was a lovely exception that was pretty good throughout the whole thing. It was kind of new and interesting. Emote only mode for a minute? Okay.
My beloved Harold died yesterday. Looks like this woman started to have problems after her husband's death. No shit. She started haunting people. And scaring people non-stop. Nope. That's my name on it. Peter. Someone in the dining room was a little girl. At least it looked like her. Somehow she knew my name warned me that someone's looking for me in the house. Dear Diary, the day before yesterday, my Harold came back after a long journey. I missed him so much, and our children couldn't be happier. Finally, the whole family was back together. Yesterday, we spent all day together, and he told us stories of his adventure. He brought so many presents. Our children were very excited with all the toys and dolls that he brought. Harold is feeling unwell after a long ride home. I think he's just tired. I'll go draw him a nice hot bath. They were happy for such a short time. I want to. What you know? What I want to do is I'm going to tell someone I'm going to go draw you a bath, and then when they go to the bathroom, they'll see the just a picture of me having drawn a bath. So there's just a bath that I drew. Stairway to heaven. Somewhere in a different world, you feel a door opening. In a different world. I don't know, every horror game has you sounding like you're wearing either big ass metal clomping boots or big high heels. This one went with the high heel sound. I don't know why. They all do it. Or I like I have two peg legs or something. Well, I guess we're trapped in here. Have to go up.
Are we done? If we... If I have to play one more horror game, we have to hide in closets from monsters. The trope is getting old, people. It's getting old. It's getting real old. Uh. Yeah, it's not getting old. It is old. How many games we played where that's a, that's a mechanic? It was like so many. Those nightgowns, aw. Do you ever want to like, like go back in time and live a day in like the old times where you put on a nightgown and your servants have to draw you a nice hot bath? You know, just for a day, not like for a long time. Just oh, I remember this lamp. It contains a secret. You know, just like go back in old times, live what it's like to live in a a rich person that owns a castle's house just for a night, you know. But, okay then. I think it works as a lever. I'm not hearing or seeing anything that and one on the exit. Okay, there, that Q. I'm missing something. Gotta be some sort of clue or maybe the symbols themselves have some sort of thing in the room. No. Something behind this closet. I need to look closer. What the fuck? Okay. Spooky.
It's just like in every one of these games, you hide in the closet and then you're perfectly safe until it goes away. <laughs> so many games like that. What the? F Souls of the dead will never fulfill your request just like that. They have to make riddles that come to you only after you solve their riddles or fulfill their request. Usually these puzzles are connected with the life somehow. To solve them, I had to rummage through the past and learn all sorts of details of their life. Thanks to the diaries, it was not too that difficult. But the children are not so simple. Basically, they want to play. But games are unusual. Sometimes the dead build barriers in the present through which a human cannot pass. They only open them if you fulfill their conditions. But we must remember they are they see the world quite differently. Find all pieces of this photo. Uh, okay. I can do that. September 14th, 1900. Dear Diary, I don't understand what is happening in this house. I don't trust anyone. Last night I woke up and went to check on the kids when I entered the room. I noticed the smell. The smell came that always accompanied Harold when he returned from a hunt. I looked under the bed and found a decapitated remains of animals. There was so much blood. It was mixed with dirt and bits of fur and that stench. And it was all under the beds of my children. I took the kids to my room and ordered the servants to clean the mess. Who could have done something like that? It seems to me... That someone is trying to drive me crazy on purpose. To take away the only thing I have left. My subs. My children. Dead animals in the children's room? That's terrible. It's not that terrible. Living without the internet, now that's terrible. Imagine it's 1900, and you want to know what the size of an average raccoon is. You don't have Google. You have to. They don't really have much encyclopedias back then. You have to go find someone and ask them, a scientist, what that little question is. You don't just instantly know answers to dumb little questions like you can nowadays. There's no Google. I know, like, you gotta go to the library and get a book on them or something, and then look it up. And by the time you did all that stuff... I was on that photo. Does it mean they're my family? Tim and Ellie, my brother and sister. That means my mother, who's a woman with... Whoop! That went by too fast. There's a noose around her neck. What the... Another one of those uh, stories where we're actually part of the family. Okay, what do I have access to now that I didn't before? I have a broken scones. Oh, I know where to put that. I was in this room over here with the ch 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 ch. Thank you. Foxtrot Smurf with the first time ever sub. Thank you. What's going to be your first ever sub emote?
Don't push. Five times clock question. Sounds like he got his dick stuck in the pool drain. Which is a surprisingly very high amount of emergency calls every year. So five times. Kiki. <laughs> Shut up, Chad. You jump too, all right? God. <sighs> Scared all the way to the desktop. Uh, five, three, six. rotations. Second floor corridor. Okay. 
closet there if I need it. Okay. That's just freaking rude, okay? Other streamers couldn't figure it out that I've watched. Yeah, I'm... that's why they call me smarter than the average bear. Puzzle God, pretty much. I have watched some other people stream puzzle games, and I'm just like, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? That's not how you do. What is hap? Why are you? Use the monocle. One, two, three, four. One, two. One, two, three, four. One, two. Hail Satan. Peter, help us. Who are you? Let me out of here. I'm your father. I can help you out. Just help us. I don't us. remember that I had a father. I don't believe you. You are here because of us. You have to remove the spell which is devouring us for 12 years. 12 years ago, we saved you at the cost of our lives, but here we are, forever stuck. We can't get out of here. You're the only one who could set us free. Where are you? My soul's in this puppet. It's necessary to find all the parts of this puppet and to remove the spell. How can I find them? The map. Ouija board. Spirit kindly of me through the Ouija board and claim to be my father. I don't understand. Trust him. If a spirit said that your father needs to be set free, most likely it's a demon. I mean, come on. Let's be honest. How would your dad know how to break a spell? Your dad could barely fix the TV when it broke. <laughs> Map is changing. Use the monocle to see the starting point. <coughs> <coughs> so, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two. One, two, three, four. <laughs> <laughs> that is not nice. Oh, my God. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two.
Oh, that direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then there's a diamond shape thing. <coughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait a minute. Six, and then six, and then to the right. I got it. I get it. Smart. So it's actually 12 steps and then to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Then something's off. September 9th. The day has switched places with the night because of my new medication. I sleep all the time and only at night do I have enough strength to get out of bed. Last night I heard little wooden sounding steps and giggles. Laughter left this house long ago. I wondered if it was the children fooling around and went to check on them, but they were sleeping soundly in their beds. In the second floor corridor, I met Nanny Timson. She looked at me as if she'd seen a ghost, dragged me into the next room, then gave me my medication and told me I was not allowed to leave the room. Angrily knocked those damn pills out of her fucking hands. Why the hell do I need to spend all my day in that room? Can I not even see my children? I spend so little time with them. They need mother. Not that nanny Tansen. What was she doing up so late? She's beginning to worry me. This woman must be my mother. But I don't remember anything from my childhood. be something hmm wait a minute am I looking at the right one Maybe looking at maybe at the wrong piece. A 
I need a star symbol. Oh, that is the lake piece. One of those pieces is one, two, three, four. There are two of those symbols. that symbol. Is it on the ceiling or on the floor? Is there a way upstairs? Yeah, let's go up one more floor. door. I'll give you one guess, Blade Runner, and hint, it should be an easy guess for you. I even have to ask. Let's see. Well, I can't get over there. There's two of those symbols for the legs. There are two legs. Runner. Um, I have it there because of the G symbol. And I'll give you a hint as to why. I'll give you, I'll give you one more guess as to why. Yes, I'm gangsta. That's it. That's the that's exactly the good job, chat. there from here so it might be this one okay so one two three four five six One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two. One, two, 
two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. What's my record view count? Uh, 32,000 during the bunker. No, that was game wise, but my absolute highest view count was Trump winning the election of 2016. That night we had like 46,000 or something. Like, what room is this? Yeah, well, I'll look around for items or something. We got missed. Yeah, we were listening to CNN and then I was filling the, the, the little chart because, you know, Hillary's going to win. And we're going to mark all the states for her every time she won one. And that didn't happen. As surprised as I was and everyone else, I think she was even more surprised. Like, fuck, we gotta write a what speech? Well, shit. Maybe it just means it's in that room. It's got maybe it just means that it's in the room up there and it's gotta find the piece in there somewhere. Oh, are we done? 